What's in your head? In your head? Zombie, zombie. Yes, zombies. Here's another pick for the book club. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Dave Musson, at Dave Musson on Instagram. And this is a place where normally I talk to you about Stephen King, but in this series, I recommend you books that I really think you'll like, specifically horror books, because you're probably still a Stephen King fan if you're landing on my channel, aren't you? So we'll get into that, but first a couple of plugs. Do check out my range of Stephen King themed banner shirts, my own collection of short stories, Once More Around the Sun, my newsletter, all of those kind of things. But most of all, thank you for checking this out. So we're in the book club. And if you're new to the book club, well, this is the deal. This is my little series where I'm recommending books that I think you'll enjoy. So no scores or ratings. These are all books that I have enjoyed and have ranked somewhere between three out of five and five out of five. So all books that are scoring well. I'm recommending them to you because I think you'll like them. And what I do in these videos for each book is give you a synopsis of the book. I give you some background to the author. I give you my spoiler free review of the book. And because this is a Stephen King channel and chances are you like Stephen King, I will try and align the book I'm talking about to a Stephen King book. So if you are thinking, I don't know whether I want to give this one a try, I need another reference point. Bang, there's a Stephen King one for you, for you to compare it to. So if you like this Stephen King book, then you may well like this book I'm talking about. But, you know, listen to the review as well, because I might not make a perfect match with a Stephen King book, but I might still make a good case for you to check it out, okay? Now this time we have another brand new release and it is from an indie horror author, which means if you're a regular around here, you'll know that my new mantra for you guys supporting indie horror authors is to do the following. It's to follow the three R's. It's to read their book first, obviously. It's to then review that book on Goodreads, on Amazon, on anywhere else you can review it. And then it's to go on your own social media channels or email a friend or tell someone in the street. Basically do what you can to rave about it. So the three R's, read, review, rave. It's the best way to support indie horror authors, particularly the reviewing part and definitely the raving part. There's so much noise out there, but anything you can do, even a one sentence review saying, I really like this book, it had zombies in five stars. That can really help. Trust me, honestly, it can. So indie horror authors, read them, review them, the rave them, rave about them. Yeah, I can't even do my own mantra properly. I'm so excited. Now, today's book, today's book, I'm very pleased to talk about. It's a book from an indie horror author. It's a book from an indie horror author who is a friend of mine, who has been on this channel before on the Constant Writers podcast, who is a, a champion of other indie horror authors himself. A lovely, lovely man from Northern Ireland called Jamie Stewart. And we're going to be talking about his new novel today, which despite the spelling, it's an Irish spelling. So just go with it. Despite the spelling, it's called The Cult of Queen. And yeah, I'm excited to tell you about it. So let's get into it. So then, a synopsis for The Cult of Queen by Jamie Stewart, his new novel. Nothing ever happens in Hardy. Not that horror game obsessed Charlie Moran doesn't imagine it. The dead rising up, crawling at the ruins of Harding Castle. No, nothing ever happens in Hardy. Till the river floods. Till it sweeps free ancient coffins lying in wait. Till the dead rise and suddenly it's not a game anymore. Charlie's playing for keeps. The Cult of Queen is a novel about a lonely young boy and his struggle to accept himself as he is. Yet when the undead rise from their graves, after almost a thousand years of imprisonment, he is about to learn that the parts of himself that he keeps secret from his schoolmates, his teachers, is exactly what he needs to defeat this evil. An evil led by Lucille Byrne, an 11th century witch, who comes along with her cult of followers Discover the gift of immortality, only it comes with a price. That price is a hunger for human flesh. I heard something about the author for you. Um, I've taken this from the internet rather than try and write it myself. I say I'm friends with Jamie, um, but it was just easier to find his official bio. So Jamie Stewart is a horror author and editor. His books include Something Wicked, Something Dark, Montague's Carnival of the Delights of Terror, 
Price Man of the House that Bleeds, I Hear the Clattering of Keys, and Other Fever Dreams, and Mr. Jones. He has co-edited such anthologies as Welcome to the Fun House and The Sacrament. His short stories can be found all over the internet. He lives in Northern Ireland with his wife and dogs and baby. Toddler now. Um, it can be found on Instagram at jamie.stuart.33 where he reviews and promotes books. So I fumbled my way through that, didn't I? Let's, let's see background. Let's crack on with my spoiler-free review of The Cult of Queen. Okay, a disclaimer before I go into this review. I've already mentioned I am friends with Jamie, have been for a long time. We bounce ideas off each other quite a lot. And I actually read an earlier version of this novel and gave him some feedback, which he worked into the final version. And he acknowledges me in the acknowledgement section for doing that. All that to say, yes, he's a pal. But that hasn't affected my review of this. I've read this finished version fresh and even though I'm making myself sound like I'm I don't know spinning something here honestly this is just my honest review of this book yes I was involved earlier on but these are my thoughts on the finished thing and it's on the book club so I still like it okay let's get into my review the big thing I take away from this is just how Jamie is continuing to grow as a writer with each release. He's getting better and better each time. Train. Train! But in particular, this tale of zombies attacking Northern Ireland is definitely the best thing he's done so far. This is a frenetic, fast-paced scare fest, and it's full of all of the kind of things you want from a horror book, particularly something that you might well be sitting down to read in October of all months. I'm talking heart-thumping adventure, shocking kills, and terrifying wet-thumping sounds. So, if you've read Jamie's work, which you really should, you'll know he's great at building character, creating place, and delivering on great scares. And all of that is in abundance here, with even more refinement than he's shown in his previous works. This is an unrelenting story that will grip you from the start and doesn't let go all the way through to the end. It's told over one frantic, terrifying night, and it moves throughout. The pacing is spot on. There's also real passion in this story. This is an idea that has been lodged in Jamie's head since he was a child, and he tells the story of that in the intro to this book. And you can you can feel that rush of adrenaline of him finally being to connect what was in here out through here onto the keyboard and onto the page. You can just sense the joy in him getting this story out and having an absolute blast with it. And I think what's most impressive for me is the result of, of Jamie's passion and, and, and his work getting this story out there is a creative take on a story in a tired genre, zombie horror. Like it made me someone who is zombie ambivalent at very best. It made me hooked. I wanted to know what was going to happen, and I wanted to know how it would all go down. And it was because it was a bit different. It wasn't just another, another dull zombie book or story or thing. It had something different about it. And for that, I really enjoyed it. Whether that was the setting of Northern Ireland, the... The time and place, early 2000s, I don't know. Perhaps a combination of all of them, but it just works. I also really like how Jamie ties the Resident Evil computer games into this story here and kind of weaves them in and out. Again, those were games I didn't play. I basically just played FIFA all the time when I was into gaming as a kid. But again, I, I, I cared about the game here and it, it, it all clicked into place and it all worked perfectly. So when it comes to comparing this to a King book, there isn't a direct one-on-one -on -one comparison, but there are elements of some that I think we can pull out and tease together. So let's see what we got here. The Cult of Queen definitely has the unhinged energy and of course the zombies of something like Cell, but it's also got the small town politics and pettiness and just general bitchiness of needful things. But then also on that small town thing and I guess with its looming sense of dread and claustrophobia, kind of makes me think of Salem's Lot. So, so, need for things, Salem's Lot. You've got sublime and ridiculous King and Cell, I guess. 
that's a pretty good and fun mix, right? So to sum up, I mentioned Jamie's a friend. I hold Jamie's friendship and his writing in very high regard, and I really am enjoying seeing him grow on each one. And this is definitely the best thing he's done so far. It's so propulsive. It's so action-packed. But also, it's not just action. It's got characters you care about. The loss is hit. And you you very quickly know who you want to make it through. And there's a really cool dark in there as well. So, yeah, I think, in short, horror fans of pretty much any type will lap that up will lap this up even if you're not into the zombie stuff i don't like zombie stuff i love this book so give the coat of queen a try okay now this one comes out if you're watching this video the day this video drops the coat of queen comes out tomorrow the 18th of october it's available in paperback or on kindle so definitely definitely go and pick it up and thank you to jamie for giving me an advanced copy of the final thing to uh to read it and review it for you here and also thanks for letting me in on an earlier draft i know what that's like to share earlier drafts of your own work so i appreciate that as well so yeah i've done my reading i've done my reviewing and i've done my raving now it's time for you guys to do the same so there we go my thoughts on the call to queen as i said read this one review it wherever you can and then go and rave about it if you love it as much as i do and do come back for more book clubs soon. Other things you can do, you can check out my collection of short stories once more around the sun. I've got a range of Stephen King themed band shirts you can check out and buy. A newsletter you can sign up to, all of those kind of things. Loads of Stephen King content elsewhere on this channel, of course. And, well, hey, subscribe if you don't already. Then you won't miss any more videos, whether it's more book club stuff, more Stephen King stuff, or whatever else my brain decides we're going to do next. Who knows? Stick around and you'll find out. But most of all, thanks for checking this out. Pick up this book. Check out all the others in the book club. And I will see you again for another recommendation very soon. <laughs>